Okay, I'm very excited about this. Look at that. 1906 steam shovel. Oh, and that's at Cedar Point Provincial Park and likely we'll probably go see that. There's a Spanish lake. There's some ditch with some water in it. Some men cleaning gold. Six monitor work in the face of number one pit. Ooh, that's weird. You guys see that? It's like a big fire hose. This is where I want to go. Keith and Creek. There's supposed to be enough right in there. So so on the moon pile. This property was tied up in lawsuits and operated only on a sporadic basis. By 1983, the bullion mine used more water than the city of Vancouver, but the deposits the mining company were mined became lower and lower in grade. The present operation had come to an end in 1942. This is the Hobson guy, that's what he looked like. See, look, now it said, see how I just told you guys 75 bucks a day? Now they're saying 110 bucks a day. The original game of telephone when I was reading out of this book. Cookhouse. The pit. Okay, you guys ready to go look at the pit? I'm gonna go have a look. In 1935, the bullion mine was again the largest hydraulic operation in the province. 16 hours of piping time, after which 8 hours of the day was spent drilling and blasting boulders. On average, year more 20 million tons of water was used. Pretty neat. Okay, let's go look. Well, there's a, another trail down there. Okay, on the hook. Oh, these must be the water things. Oh, and there's a blacksmith shop. Cool, cool. I'm impressed anyways. There's got to be a way to get closer here. Graffiti on the tree, of course. Wouldn't be complete without somebody graffiti and something, you know? Hmm. Big hose. Very cool, very cool. What does this say on it? It says Joshua Hendy Ironworks. You could really spray that and it would make it no they obviously moved these here and then what you're supposed to view from this box is that what you're trying to tell me i gotta see more of the pit than this can't just be this can't just be Wolfgang, let's look over here. Come on, bring your book. Blacksmith shop. My child. Has five stories in it. <sighs> Look at this big claw. Oh, well, at least he's having fun. Found a family he likes. I know, he would be fine if something happened to me. Another family would just scoop him up in no time. Good old Wolfgang. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I don't know what this is. Oh. From the Caribou Hydraulic Mining Company. Return tubular firebox boiler. Bo boiler. For powering pumps. It definitely looks like it's been cooked. Drag line excavator. Oh. Hmm. 
Cool, cool. And this is a rivet stand. Very cool. For holding the rolled sheet metal as the rivets are in place. Okay, here it is. Interesting. This is the blacksmith shop with the bull in mine. Very cool stuff in here. I don't know what this is. Just old pipes. I guess they just gather up this old pipe and put it in here. Oh, this is a winch. A very old winch for dragging pipe. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool, that's cool. No idea what that is. Uh, knuckles, elbows, and pipes for water monitor. And this is a slip roller. Hmm. Blacksmith shop. Here's the blacksmith. Just chilling in a shop. Caribou Hydraulic Mining Company. Example of a blacksmith shop. Hmm. Very interesting. Flanges. Flanges are piping components bolted together using a gasket in between two flanges as a sealing material. Flanges are used to connect pipes with each other. Very cool. This whole pile of machinery. Okay, I'm going to try to find a way down the pit, but I got to wrangle my kid here. So pause for a sec on that. <laughs> 